when Lucas rains on your parade. Not appreciated. Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a current household update video. So you've seen their makeover and you've been caught up on their origin and sort of their backstory, what's gone on so far, and now it's time to finally formally meet the entire family. Um, if you haven't seen the catching up video, which is my previous video on this current household, you should watch it first probably if you're interested in knowing sort of how this um, lineup of Sims got started, you know, a couple things that have happened leading up to this. Um, it's going to be linked in the description, so check it out. But now I'm going to be introducing you to these eight Sims, starting with Derek Moore, who is on the furthest left and going all the way to Diana. So this is Derek Moore, you probably know that by now. Um, he is one of the first two sims of this household. He is in the athletic career, he's a level 6 of the professional athlete career. Um, he is a bookworm, active, gregarious, and an insider. Uh, some of his best skills are his charisma skill level 6, his comedy skill also level 6, his dancing skills level 4, his fitness is level 6, and that's really all that there is of importance. His lifetime aspiration is leader of the pack, um, which as far as clubs goes, he's in the party house. He overthrew Jade Rosa, his ex-girlfriend, um, and is now the leader. He is also in the powerhouse um, with, you know, the squad. And he's in the avant-garde with his lovely wife, Mika, but we will get into that shortly. Um, so that's pretty much Derek. You should know everything really about him. Uh, he is a bookworm at heart, even though he still loves partying, hanging out with people, having fun. He, he loves his books, he's a little nerd, um, even if not everyone knows that about him. The next sim in our lineup is Mika. She is a townie. She obviously doesn't look like her original townie self anymore, but uh, she lives in Windenburg at the start of your game, and she's such a sweetheart. She's just wonderful. So, Mika is married to Derek, and she is in the writer's career. She's a level 5. Um, her aspiration is to be a best-selling author, and she is <laughs> not getting there quickly, but you know, we're working on it. Uh, as far as Simology goes, she is a snob, creative, a user, and a bookworm. Um, in terms of her skills, she is a level 7 of the writing, and that's really the only one that I focus on with her. Um, so yeah, she is the leader of the avant-garde, which is her only club, but she loves it. It is her thing. Um, her only real relationship is Derek, whereas Derek has a lot of humans a couple romances who but yes this is the love of little Mika I love her so much she's such a sweetheart and gosh guys if you can incorporate her in your households you will not regret it she's amazing the next sim in our lineup is Katie Green one of the originals. I don't know if I changed her last name. I did not. She's still Katie Green, and I love her. Uh, she's in the mixology career. She's a level 6. A head mixologist. Very exciting. Uh, the master mixologist is her lifetime aspiration, which she is almost done. Yay! That's so exciting. I love her so much, and I'm so happy for her. Uh, as far as homology goes, she is a perfectionist. She is creative, she is outgoing, and she has the essence of flavor. 
um, in terms of skills. She has mastered her cooking skill, and she is a level 7 of the mixology skill, and those are her only two that I've really been working on. I have been working on her gardening skill a little bit. I only started recently, and she's only a level 3. Um, in terms of clubs, she's only a member of the Garden Gnomes. Um, it's all blondes and redheads. What can I say? So, you should already know a lot about Katie from previous videos, but she is such a sweet sim. I love her to death. She's so amazing, and she's so chill and understanding, and I just love her. The next sim in our lovely sim lineup is the one and only Gunther Munch. He is also a townie found in Windenburg, but he is such a sweetie. He's much more handsome than you think at first glance, and I do love him. Uh, he is currently an office assistant. He's a business level two. Uh, he used to be a writer. I think he got to like level four of that, and then we switched him to business because his lifetime aspiration is to be a renaissance sim, and so we have to reach level three in two careers. Probably not going to get there, but you know, we're working on it. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, he is, uh, you know, as far as semology goes, he's a bookworm, creative, a quick learner, and clumsy. Uh, in terms of his skills, um, the only ones really of note are he's a level 7 of the writing skill. And we've sort of been working on his logic and handiness recently, so he's a level 4 of handiness and logic as well. Um, as far as clubs go, clubs go, he's only a member of the avant-garde, and that's him. He is a very sweet townie, and I love him very, very much. Garrett Moore is the next sim in our little sim lineup here. Uh, Garrett is the child of Mika and Derek. Um, he is a high school C student. He's not really, you know, one for homework. <laughs> his lifetime aspiration is the curator. Ooh. Okay. Honey. As far as semology goes, he is a teen, so he only has three traits. Bookworm, collector, and materialistic. Gets that from his mom. Just saying. Um, he is a little nerd. Gets it from his dad. That's just who he is. Um, yeah, he, that's, there's really nothing else you can say about Garrett. He's just the biggest nerd. Um, but he's a precious guy, and I love him so much. So this girly is Gabby Moore. Her and Garrett are actually twins, which was so crazy when that happened, because I originally only wanted Derek and Mika to have one child. And then they had twins, and I was like, oh, now we have eight sims in our household. That happened. That's cool. Um, Gabby is a, also a high school C student, and she is really not doing so hot. Uh, her lifetime aspiration is party animal, uh, because that's Gabby for you. Um, she is a perfectionist, gregarious, and cheerful, and as far as skills go, She's, she doesn't really, we've been working on her fitness skill quite a bit. I don't think we went over Garrett's skills. I'm not working on any skills with Garrett, so that's probably why. Um, yeah, I've been doing fitness with her, and I sort of start, started herbalism when they went on their little camping trip, and wellness. So that's sort of going to be her era. I love Gabby so much, like I can't even begin to express to you how amazing I think this girl is. She is very eccentric and very herself, and she's the most outgoing sim, and she loves people, and she's so accepting and amazing, and I'm obsessed with her, and I think that she is the child that I'm going to carry on with. Um, you know, once the parents are gone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Gabby, I think, because I'm obsessed with her. She is, like, like, if she were real, we would be best friends. Like, I, I love her. And it's not very often that I, you know, have sins that are really out there, but Gabby is, and I love her for it. So, yes, Gabby is great. The next 
them is Charles Munch. He is Katie and Gunther's first child. He is the eldest of the teens. Um, and he's, he's the only one of the teens that's in a club as well, uh, which he joined when he was a child. But um, he's a high school city student. He is going to be aging into a young adult very, very soon. And I'm very excited for him to be doing that. Um, his like to mass person is to have a soulmate. What a cutie. Freaking love you, Charles. He is gloomy, alluring, and evil. That's right. He's evil. <laughs> as far as skills go, I haven't really worked on any skills with him, so they're all level one or two. But oh, actually, we started doing DJ mixing very, very recently. Still a level one at that though. And I love Charles. Charles is like he tries to come across as like a badass, you know what I mean? Like, he acts so tough, but, and he is evil, so like he's kind of like a bit messed up, but on the inside he's a sweetheart, and he actually has a girlfriend, yeah, her name is Elsa, it's Elsa Bjerkson, uh, who's one of the townies, I gave her a makeover when she became a teen, and Elsa, him and him and Elsa have been friends since they were children, and he loves her so much, and she has always sort of brought out the best in him because he did get mixed up in the Renegades, it's the only club he's a part of, and you know, Max is his good friend, Wolfgang's his uncle, and yeah, he's, you know, kind of in that scene, but Elsa sort of brings him out of it sort of brings him back to real world, real life, and reminds him that he is a sweetheart and he's a good kid and, you know, as much as he has the evil trait, he's not all evil. He has and last but certainly not least is the youngest of the bunch, Diana, given, you know, someone's a stank eye right now. Girl, chill. Um, Diana is a sweetheart. I love her. She is a high school C student. All my kids are C students. Do I really pay attention to their school? No, I don't, and I think it's apparent. Um, his asp her, whoa, her aspiration is nerd brain, which I haven't even started. <laughs> um, as far as symbology goes, she is a loner, a quick learner, and gloomy. Um, and her skills, I haven't worked on any skills with her, so they're all just level one, and she's not in a club. But Diana, I love Diana so much, and actually, a little surprise, Diana and Garrett, Garrett are dating, oh my gosh, and they're so cute together, I love them so much, and they have told their parents, well, they've told Katie, they told Katie because Katie is so chill and understanding and just amazing, so they told Katie, and Katie was like, see, this is why I didn't have it playing before, Lucas Munch is visiting, hello, Lucas. But yeah, they told Katie about their relationship. Katie was all for it. Katie was like, yes, girl, you go for it. Love it. That's the only person that they really told. Now, apart from um, Diana and Garrett's at first secret but now open romance, the only other real super dramatic thing that has happened in this family involves, oh, you guessed it, the drama magnet Derek. Now, you'll see... In his little relationships, he is romantic with Jade, which you might be confused. I thought they had a horrible breakup. They did. But they're in the party house, and if you have ever had a sim in the party house, you know that they'll be at a club gathering, minding their own business, and all of a sudden someone's gonna come up and start making out with them, and you're like, okay, I didn't know. Like, since when was this a thing? You literally have never spoken to this person before. Why are you kissing? I don't know. That happened with Jade. She came up to us one day. She came up to us, okay? And it just happened. I mean, we were married. She knew that we were married, but it happened anyways. And we felt horrible about it, and we never told our wife, because that's bad. Bad news. And then, we were, we were you know really sad and feeling horrible about ourselves because we cheated on our wife with our ex-girlfriend. That's not great. 
So we invited Eva over to take our mind off of it. And um, you'll notice Eva is a romantic and she got a little flirty and one thing led to another and Eva's pregnant with our baby. Yes, that is right. Um, so Derek's third child's on the way with Miss Eva, Eva Capricosa. And he did tell um, Mika, and Mika is really not impressed with him right now. You know, she she looks all smiles now, but deep down she's mad, girl. She is, she is fuming. So um, right now Mika's kind of sitting on it. She doesn't know what to do. He cheated on her. That's not good. But you know what? She loves him still. But can she trust him? She's not entirely sure. So, don't know what exactly is going to happen, but I think there might be a divorce in the near future for this family, um, which is really unfortunate. Because um, I do, you know, I love these two together so much, but what can you do? Um, so that's pretty much the lowdown on everyone. Uh, Gabby is not in a romantic relationship, but she will be in many. I can guarantee you have seen all of their outfits in the makeover video if you watched it, and if not, um, it'll, there'll be a link down to it below. But I have made a few changes to this house. Um, like I've added a few custom content items and just obviously changed the kids rooms when they aged up and stuff like that so this right this half is the green half and this half is the more half um, I still say green because that's Katie's last name and she's the original so down there's pretty boring up here Gabby's bedroom is my favorite um, look how cute this room is like Oh my gosh, please close yourself. Yes, the only custom content is this thing. The rugs. That wall. <laughs> oh, those th there's lots of custom content in there now. And this is Garrett's room. If you didn't believe me when I said he was a nerd, believe me, he's a nerd. Bob Pancakes, what you doing? I love this poster. This one's like my favorite one. And look 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 at that isn't that so cute i want a frame on it oh man he was sick when they took that picture but you know what it's still cute though all of the frames came off my pictures and i'm mad i'm very upset about it um her room has a lot of art in it as well that's gabby's room this is charles room i think it's the same as it was when i made the thing except this is a picture of <gasps> come to me stop 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 are you seasick yet this is a picture of him and Elsa when they were children so cute oh my gosh living for it um, we didn't collect all the eggs and I am <laughs> really upset about it <laughs> as I convulse from my coughing this is um, Diana's room Diana is a very monotone person. She's not very exciting. She doesn't like to be the center of attention. I'm the exact same way. This is her room. I think it's super cute. I love this little chair. I don't know if it's custom content or not, but I love it. Let's say, yeah, the rooms is all that's really changed in the house. But yeah, that's pretty much the family. It's pretty crazy. Um, in the next update, we'll find out what becomes of Mika and Derek. And I'm really worried that if Mika decides to get a divorce, Derek will go crazy. That is a legitimate fear that I have. But anyways, I'm going to end this current household update here. Um, I hope you enjoyed formally meeting the entire family, and I hope that you're all excited to see what becomes of them, because I know that I sure am. Um, I'm going to have some pictures at the end if you would like to see them. Just, you know, some pictures of some stuff that's happened. You know, pictures of the kids and everything. So, stay tuned for that if you would like. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everyone.